Welcome to Maze Lico Challenge. Today's problem, single element in a sorted array. You are given a sorted array consisting of only integers where every element appears twice, except for one element appears only once. Find this single element that appears only once. Yeah, so we're given this list and you can see that it's sorted and every integer appears at least twice except one. Here, two only appears once, so we return two. Here, 10 only appears once, so we return 10. Now, Note your solution should run in log n time and O of 1 space. So that's a big hint here because we know our list is sorted. We know that we want to solve this in log n time. So this is going to be a binary search solution. Um, because it's sorted and because we want to solve this in log n, surely we can use that to our advantage to figure out which element only appears once. But this is not an easy, easy problem. Like Despite its straightforward question, um, and very easy naive solution it's difficult to know which side to move given given our condition like if we start in the middle here three we could check to say all right is the one before it and after equal to this number uh, if it's not we can we know that that's the unique number here but otherwise we need to search left or right but how do we do that like say that we start with this um, and we know that 3 is not unique because the number preceding it equals 3. So we should move to the left side. But that's not always going to be the case because um, I'll give you an example here. Like say that we have this list and we start at the middle. Like here we know we have to move to the left. But here, it's hard to tell. Like, this doesn't equal this. So, like, do we move to left or right? Like, um, it, it's it's hard to tell without checking the number of values within it. So, here's the thing to think about. Like, if we check this min number and we see that the number after it equals five, like equals itself, then we should move to the side that has an odd number. So like say this continued on for like to 100 all these we know as long as the value like the length from here to here is even those are all going to be repeats it's the side that has an odd number that we need to search but how can we check that i mean we could um you know figure out the length from the point at which the repeat happens and and see if do like a modular check and see if that is even or odd and then check that but it gets really dirty doing that the way you could figure out which way to go is by the index number because if this index number is even and the previous the number preceding it is is equal to itself well then we know whatever is left on this side is going to be odd so we should search left otherwise if this is even and the number matches to the right then we know that anything left here is going to be is going to be uh, odd so we should search to the right so that actually took me a long time to figure out um, i was playing a long time with it i was trying to figure out if there's a pattern here um, so i'll try to i'll try to explain this as clearly as possible but but yeah the, despite it's straightforward it, it's not easy so Start with zero as left and r equaling what the 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 length of nums. Um, let's see. The first the first thing we should check is all right. Well, if the length of nums if that equals one, we can just immediately know that like it's it's this is unique, right? Um, so we can just return what nums r immediately. Yeah, so that's kind of like a exception case there. Uh, otherwise, we want to do our binary search. All right, so let's see. How do I start this? Um, all right, so while L minus equal to R, we're going to have to check a couple of things here. For the first thing is, okay, let's calculate our mid. And midpoint is going to be equal to L plus R divide by 2 and we'll check our nums mid 
and say if nums min does not equal the one preceding it and the one after it, then we can return this value. This is it. This, this is the unique value in our list. But we have to remember something. We um, like, what if we're at this point? Well, there's we're going to have an out of index problem because there is no minus one index. Uh, so uh, what I did was just said, all right, well, if, um, uh, let's see, if, if mid equals uh, zero and mid, um, I should say nim, mid does not equal mid plus one, because if we're at the first index, all we need to check here is, is the next one equal to, to it? Because if it's not, then we already know immediately, okay, that's that's the unique number, right? Uh, and we also need to do that for the very right side. Let's say if, um, uh, I guess I should store the width, width equals, or the last, I guess I'll call it last. Think of nums, it's actually you know, nums minus one. If uh, num, if uh, mid equals last and mid does not equal, um, yeah, so we should copy this. If it doesn't equal the one preceding it, then that is also hits a condition where we know that's unique. All right, so that, that's a little wordy, but I think you get the idea. If it's the first point and um, the one after it does not equal it, then return that. If it's the last point and the one preceding that doesn't equal it, then we return it. Otherwise, if both the one preceding it and the one going after it does not equal the point, then return, uh, let's see, return nums mid. Okay, now here's where it gets tricky. Say that we didn't meet any of those conditions, right? Um, how do we check this? Well, like I said, the index number that we're checking gives us a clue what direction to move. If we want to move left, there, if we want to move, like search to the left side, basically um, the index number needs to be even the one preceding it needs to equal, or the index number needs to be odd, and the one after it needs to equal it. So that's the only way we're, we're going to move to the left side. So that's going to be where we um, decrease our, our right right pointer. So, so let me write that out. It's a little bit confusing, but let's see. If our midpoint is um, 5 by 2, if it's if it's even and this condition, the one preceding it equals it. Uh, so let's do this. If it's like um, the index number is even and the one preceding it equals it, then we're going to go right. Or, or it's the other way where it's an odd number. Oops, and the one after it equals. And that's the case, then we'll make r equal to mid minus one. Otherwise, left equals mid plus one. Whew. So let me see. Let me try a couple test cases, because I don't even know if this, this is it. Um, so it does look like this one worked. Well, what about... What about this one? And that guy. It does return 10. What about... Uh, now I have to write this out. Um, I don't know, just... Well, let's just submit it. <laughs> Not good practice, but... I'm getting patient. Okay, so great, we got a runtime error. Um, no, that's weird. I thought I, I accounted for this. Let's see. Turn nums. That's r. This length is one. 
Oh, of course, right? Because that's not going to be the length. That's going to be, we have to return um, actually the last one. And we don't even need to do that, which is really, we know it's going to be the first index. So, okay, cool. So that did get accepted. Uh, this was after a couple tries. Originally, what I had done was my first approach to first check, all right, is it, um, is the midpoint equal to the one on its left or the or the midpoint equal to the one on its right? And once I checked that, I had another if case, if else statement that checked, all right, well, if, does the midpoint, midpoint, um, midpoint minus one, is that even or is it odd? And, and same thing this way, if, if it's this way, I said, okay, is, is left side even or odd? And is the right side even or odd? But, but I saw once I start writing that out, like actually we could figure something out here with the, with the index number itself. Um, so this is not an easy question. It definitely took me a long time to figure it out. Um, but whenever you see, see these questions, like always ask yourself, what are they trying to imply? Like it's sorted, we know that what they want log in time, we know it's like big one of space. So it's like, we can't use some sort of dictionary, we can't track it, we have to, we could take advantage of binary search. And once you start seeing that, see if you can figure out anything with like, does the index number tell us anything? Does the length tell us anything? Um, and hopefully the solution will slowly come to you. All right, thanks.